going to be brave here. Anytime you go live with this stuff, I mean, it's hard to fake, right? And so you guys on YouTube that we're going to turn this into a more quality video to, you know, shorten it up and get rid of this stuff. But you guys on Facebook now, we are doing this live and we're trying to revisit uh, when you torque something with a torque wrench that if you add extensions, if you put this at 90 degrees, guys, tell everybody what's it do to your it, torque number. It should keep, keep it. It should cancel out this extension, right? And sometimes mm -hmm. this is what we have to have to be able to get to a fastener, right? But if we go this direction, even per the manual here, I'll show some close-ups of this. This is just the snap-on manual. They're not inventing this stuff. I don't know why there's so much controversy about it. Here we've got 90 right there, and it cancels it. And then uh, down here, this is going to add to it, and this would be less than. What this machine gives us the opportunity to do is just to prove it. You gotta remember what our goal here at the college is, and I, I would say there's gonna be lots of instructors all over the country, is to teach people good skills to work from. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So our whole thought is if they tell us per the manual here to grip this in the handle area where intended, and that's where you're gonna get the best opportunity to get the applied torque correct. So if I'm trying to put 25 foot pounds on something, I want to put 25 foot pounds on. I don't want to go, oh, good enough. We know from that diagram, if I just hold back here, what am I potentially adding to that number? More torque. More torque, More torque right? If I were to grab it here, minimizing. I'm minimizing. So it's, my point is, is there's just no reason, right? So we played around with this. You guys in a past video, we saw where we took a factory tool, or not factory, I'm sorry, Motion Pro, and this is really popular on your two-stroke dirt bikes. And we get in there, and what what this torque? Do you guys remember? It's torquing yeah. cylinders down. Bailey got it there. We got to get inside, and this makes it really handy. It's a really cool tool. So what we had here was we had a gentleman uh, by the name of Mike uh, off YouTube that uh, likes our channel, and he asked us if we could go ahead and make something and get really ridiculous and get the extension really long. And so we accidentally the first time but it worked out to our benefit when we, we cut a socket in half you could see where he welded it and it was really nice and square but this actually makes the torque wrench sit off at an angle and doesn't give it the true 90 so the second one we welded on it's it looks like it's offset but you're going to see it's going to allow the wrench to really sit at 90 and that allows us to you know test on the machine here and actually see what happens so we'll go ahead and do that now kind of show you the process here go back to main menu test click style quick check 25 foot pounds that's what we want to mess with there we're at 25 foot pounds on the wrench and on his wrench here and believe me especially with this being live uh this is so when you're trying to be this intentional you're usually pushing way too hard <laughs> or not hard enough do you see that? <laughs> I, so I really like this wrench right now. <laughs> okay, 25 both times, right? So you feel it's really consistent. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and don't drop your wrenches. So don't wanna knock them out of calibration. Let's get a student to do this. Hop in there. Don't let go of that torque wrench. What I don't wanna do, and let's be all fair here, we'll just go ahead and just take it off, set it back on. How do you do? Go larger. Look at that. It's really jumping up there. Now go ahead and go too small. There we go. Watch this. Okay, try that. Try to get that to happen again. Okay. Now move it one. Okay. Move it one click. And this should go up, shouldn't it? Okay. That's showcasing what, don't let go of that. You make me really nervous, you guys, because if that torque wrench falls on the ground, then what? It's broken. You treat this and give it right back to you. <laughs> treat it like they're made of glass. The, uh, the reality of it is, the way we'll summarize this, the simple fact that what our goal is, is to try and match those manufacturers' OEM specifications on something. They gotta be able to make these tools they gotta be able to make the methods where they're obtainable to every technician or even the do-it-yourselfers. You can't, you can't make the torque wrench so impossible to get or work that you couldn't be able to change the rear tires or change the tires. That makes sense? 
This is pretty cool. I actually want to thank Michael for reaching out and kind of forcing us to create uh, a magnified extension here because this did a way better job than our original little one because the percentage of change wasn't that much. You know, as we train here, and you guys are working on this, and you guys can back me up as students here or whatnot, what our goal is is to do really good habits, work really good for muscle memory, have really good procedures so that we can just duplicate stuff all over. Keep wrenching, everybody.